I wanted to get to something about Micah Parsons. Because when I think about Micah Parsons, there's a few things that's been getting on my nerves as it pertains to him. Now, we had a player in Demarcus Lawrence that came on first take when we were in Las Vegas for Super Bowl week and spoke about being fatigued. Michael Parsons didn't like that. He spoke out about that. And lo and behold, what we saw was an uproar ever since then. Before I go any further, let's listen exactly to what Micah Parsons had to say. Yes, I agree that teams play us like the Super Bowl. We are the Dallas Cowboys. But in the end, that's not a good enough reason or excuse to say that publicly. If you say that to someone else, you know what I'm saying? Like one-on-one, you know what I'm saying? Cameras off, sure, be my guest, but what I feel like, once that regular season ends and they get in the playoff, you're supposed to get rejuvenated. Like, this is a whole new me, whole new you. Like, we need to get ready. And that's part of that culture stuff where I was talking about where I where I want to dive into the players that we got to change. Like, it, it it should never – you should never go into a game like, I'm tired, like, I'm ready to, like, I'm ready to go home. Because that's exactly what's going to happen, and it did happen. What's the problem? What What's the problem? That was Micah Parsons on my podcast, NBA All-Star Weekend, just a few days ago. What, what, what's the problem? Micah Parsons is saying that come playoff time, you got to be ready. You got to be rejuvenated. Nobody want to hear about fatigue. It's a new season. It's a championship on the line. Everybody's trying to hear about fatigue. And then you got people here saying, just be quiet. You go ahead and play. Well, Micah Parsons is a stud. The brother can ball. And we know that whether Dak is going to get his money or CD Lamb going to get his money, we damn sure know Micah Parsons deserves his money. You see him getting double and triple teamed. I'm not saying he couldn't have played better. But we know he's not the, he's not the problem on the Dallas Cowboys. Don't give me that. And if anybody is going to answer that question, he should answer it. And let's be careful. This is the thing that bothers me. We want to tell athletes, be honest, be upfront. And then when they are honest and upfront, we want to condemn them for their honesty. Now, if you disagree with his decision, nah, they weren't tired. Nah, we ain't trying to hear that, bro. You got to do it. All right, that's different. But to literally make an issue and make headlines out of the fact that he said he doesn't agree with his teammate who said they were tired, that's not something you say publicly. That's not somebody, that's not something anybody wants to hear. That speaks to our culture because what he's saying is, how comfortable are you that you're going to go out publicly and admit, yo, we were just exhausted. We were gassed. Come playoff time. I don't blame him one bit. Not one bit. And I just think it's much ado about nothing. I'll tell you what's significant and what matters. Is that Dak Prescott's in line to get $60 million. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask a fair Honest question. I do like Dak. Dak is just, oh my God, he's a perfect model citizen. He says all the right things. He dresses correctly for press conferences. He articulates himself well. He's polished. He's non-offensive. He just gets along with everybody. I ask one simple question for everybody and all parties concerned. All parties concerned. What has Dak Prescott done to deserve $60 million? Dak Prescott has two playoff victories in eight, in eight years. Two. I'm going to look it up right now just to make sure that I got it right because I know I'm not, I'm not hallucinating. You see what I'm saying? I don't understand. What am I missing? I'm just looking at Dak Prescott right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight full years this man has been in the playoffs. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to win a minimum of three, in most cases four playoff games in a season to win a Super Bowl championship. He has two in eight years. His record is two and four. Are you about winning or are you not? See, to me, when you work in a league with a hard salary cap, 
When you get the kind of money that takes away from others' ability to get paid, you need to be the Patrick Mahomes type, Joe Burrow type, Lamar Jackson type, uh, uh, just Josh Allen type. You know why I say that? Because they don't just perform their box office. And because their box office, in certain respects, although there's a hard cap there, you, ser- you, you basically pay for yourself because you bring in extra dough. Not that the NFL needs it because all the teams making money hand over foot. But it does help to have box office appeal. You Dak Prescott, it's the Cowboys. It don't matter who's, co- who's quarterback in the Cowboys if they win the football games. You come in to support the Cowboys. Dak Prescott hasn't won anything. We heard, about, we heard from him the last day, and ever since then, we ain't heard anything. from. There's an APB out for his ass. Can't find him. That's what happens when you lose. And that's the case with him. And Micah Parsons came to his defense. Oh, my Lord. I mean, how much he found every reason under the sun to defend Dak Prescott. Good luck with that CD land. You know, you arguing with Dak on the sidelines during Green Bay when they were whipping y'all ass because I don't care about that final 48-32 score. You were down 48-16 to on your home turf. Shut the hell up, all of y'all. Not you, C.D. Lamb. I'm just speaking collectively. All of y'all be quiet. You're getting your ass kicked. Come on now. I, I, I'm Dak Prescott shouldn't be the first $60 million quarterback. That should be Patrick Mahomes. Dak Prescott hasn't proven he can win. That's all I'm trying to say. At some point in time, are we going to be real about it? I would like us to. I truly, truly would.